Hey folks, I'm Rob Franick. I'm Editor-in-Chief here at the Princeton Review. If you've joined us over the last several weeks for this COVID-19 series, you know that we're talking about COVID-19 and its repercussion on education. We're answering questions and diffusing some issues that you are following directly our way. The question that we're tackling today is one that's on the mind of many students. Will colleges accept at-home AP scores? The short answer is an overwhelming yes. And we work with many colleges and universities at the Prince Review, and we are hearing that same sentiment. But let's put some examples into place here. We talked about the University of California system, which is one of the largest in the United States and a fabled and respected school worldwide. But the UC system announced a temporarily test optional policy for those students who were applying for fall 2021 admissions, specifically that students for fall 2021 would not have to submit the SAT or ACT scores for academic admission. But the UC system gave some particular guidance on their acceptance of the AP exams. And I have a quote here directly from the UC system. UC recognizes the effort that students have already applied in these challenging courses and will award UC credits for 2020 AP exams with completed scores of three, four, or five consistent with previous years. So folks, let's take some guidance and some real direction from this sentiment and this, this direction from the University of California system. It is far, far from critical. And we are hearing that not just from UCs, but schools across the country, eager, eager, to award you and to recognize you from the good and hard work that you've done throughout the academic year, but particularly in these COVID and challenging times. So if you're considering public college or university while you apply to college in the next, in the next year or years, you may not know this, but this is important information to keep up in our heads. Many states mandate that students will receive college credit if they earn a three or better on their AP exams. In addition to that, 28 out of the 31 state systems that award AP credit have confirmed that they will honor 2020 AP courses and AP scores as they have in previous years. And just to note a couple of schools on that list, the Texas system, the Connecticut state system, and of course the California system that we already noted. Now the three systems that have not yet confirmed, they are simply awaiting approval from their governor and we're gonna report that information out to you as soon as we can. But again, this direction is not just coming from public colleges. We are hearing this same sentiment from private colleges as well, that they too will honor your 2020 performance on these AP exams as they have in years past. And just to put out a couple of schools on that list, that includes the University of Southern California, USC, Dartmouth, Yale, NYU, Cornell, and that is just a few. A representative from Boston University, and we're big BU, BU fans here at Princeton, Princeton Review, gave this assessment. It was heartening and rewarding to see how the College Board is working to provide an exam for students who have literally spent the entirety of their high school years prepping for those exams. Folks, this is the majority sentiment from colleges and universities across the country. But that said, I would be remiss if I didn't note a couple of outliers. And there is one notable omission to this uh, trend that we're seeing from other colleges and universities, and that is directly from Harvard. Harvard will no longer recognize AP exam scores in awarding credit for your college degree. And folks, this is not just a policy for the AP alone. This extends to any pre-matriculation credit that a student would earn also on an IB diploma, your international baccalaureate diploma. And it is not just for the 2020 academic year. This is moving forward for the foreseeable future. Now, Harvard will still honor your AP scores for AP placement once you matriculate into classes and likely for language requirements for a fulfillment of those classes as well. But let's take heart. Harvard is one of the outliers, one of the exceptions to the fast growing rule that we've been talking about. Now the College Board gives one bit of additional uh, solace that I think is important for you to know and I'm gonna read you their quote. College Board, again, creators of the AP exams. We are confident that the vast majority of higher education institutions will award credit 
as they have in the past, we've spoken with hundreds of institutions across the country who support our solution for this year's AP exams. And again, folks, we are hearing that same direction from the many, many schools that we work with at Princeton Review. So here's the thing, let's focus this uh, advice to students right now. If you are already registered for the May or June administrations of the AP exams for 2020, and you're on the fence because you're questioning whether they're going to be valuable to your admission efforts in the next year or years, then folks, you can put those fears to rest. They will without question be valuable to the vast, vast majority of schools. And I'm gonna put a finer tip on this. Given the current global situation economically, those college credits that you can earn through those AP scores will be more dear than ever. And I'm gonna put my Princeton Review out hat on here. Folks, there is still absolutely still time to prepare and prepare well for these exams. Now I've talked to you about our many uh, services that we offer for AP prep at the Princeton Review on this very YouTube channel, on the daily for each of the weekdays at 1 p.m. Eastern time, we have free live stream with our best AP tutors. Please do look past, uh, past segments and join us live each of those weekdays for those things as well. We have additional AP services, AP tutoring, AP cram courses, as well as a host of AP books that we produce with Random House. You can get those at any online bookseller worldwide. Folks, I'm Rob Franick. I'm Editor-in-Chief here at the Princeton Review. You're going to be awesome on your AP exams this year. Please know that our team is here to help. Signing off until tomorrow.